Okay, so now I've got four sets of 3D skin blocks, and if you've made it this far, good job. You're most of the way there, and you've gotten a general idea of what you're doing. So from this point, you're just going to take your four different sets and pretty much transform them, duplicate them, and do whatever you want with them to make it look like they're coming off of the face and just kind of be, uh, going smaller and fading into the distance. Okay, so once you have all your blocks in a nice orderly fashion, or however you want to phrase it, you're going to want to go ahead and add some brush strokes to add like a smoky effect if you so choose. This is completely optional, but I'm going to go ahead and add those in right now. Okay, once you've got your white brush strokes put in to simulate a kind of smoky feel, I would suggest putting a outer glow on them that's pure white just to make them pop out a little bit more. But then you also want to lower the opacity to maybe 50 or 20 percent, you know, somewhere in that range. You know, it depends on your taste or feel or whatever. And the next thing we're going to do is make a bunch of random dark spots in the grid. So we're just going to do that the same exact way as we were making our 3D skin pieces or whatever. You're just going to grab your pencil and start making random boxes. Okay, so as soon as you've added a little bit more variety of boxes onto your grid, go ahead and name that path Darker. And we're going to load that as a selection. And we are going to make a new layer above our holes layer. And we're just going to call that Darker. And we're going to fill it in with black and just set the blend mode to soft light. If I can just find it, there we go. So we're also going to add light areas by making a lot of random boxes like before, but we're going to fill it in with white this time. So let's go ahead and give that a go, shall we? Okay, so as soon as you have enough boxes that you want to be filled in with a lighter area, go ahead and save your path as lighter. And we're going to make yet another new layer, and what do you know, we're going to call it lighter. And we're going to load the path as a selection that we just called lighter, and we're going to fill in the lighter layer with a white color, and then we're going to change that blend mode to soft light just like darker. And so that way we should have lighter areas as well as darker areas. And I'm going to turn all these back on to see how we're looking and we're not too shabby okay so all that's left to add to this bad boy is a little bit of a black shadow to make it look like the 3d blocks are fading into space so I'm gonna make a new layer at the very top and we're gonna call it shadow and I'm gonna grab a very large and soft uh, default brush right here I'm just going to swap over to black and just start kind of painting in on this side. Okay, so that should just be about it. Uh, if you want to do anything else to this, you know, feel free to do so. It's your picture. Like, you could probably lower the grid opacity to about 50% if you don't want that to be there. You could probably mask out some of the edges or, you know, just do whatever the heck you want to make it look and feel like your own creation. So thank you for watching, everybody. I really do hope you were able to uh, follow along. If not, then, well, maybe you can uh, check out another tutorial and learn something new there. So, feel free to leave a suggestion for our next tutorial, and we will see you next time.